Hey guys, so in this tutorial we are going to be building out um, a basic logbook tracker or lift tracker for uh, individual or multiple athletes. If you want the finished version, if you just want it all done for you, you can get the free version here on the website or if you want to download this um, just so you can compare uh, your formulas against any of the ones I've written and then go ahead and just download for free and it should look a little something like this. Cool, so this is the finished um, product. This is what we're going to, to look to get to create with you guys. So first of all, just go ahead and open a blank spreadsheet. So just like anything, um, a little bit of planning beforehand uh, is, is normally helpful. I like to split things up a certain way and I'm gonna teach you the way I do it and what makes sense for, for me, but you might have slightly different ways of doing it, but that's fine. So I always create three sheets or a minimum of three sheets. I'm going to call this one my dashboard or this my interface or whatever you want to call it. Second, I'm going to put data. And third, I'm going to put lists. Basically, we've got our layout of this is what my client's going to see or my coach or myself is going to see. This is where the nice, crisp, clean finish. This data sheet, this is where we're going to actually input all of our data. Um, so this will just be a big, long list of data. And then in our lists, this is where we're going to fill out various different criteria for how we're going to get that data in that dashboard um, to interact. So the first thing we're going to want to do is lay out our dashboard. And we need to know what questions we're asking. So I'm going to want to know athlete name, the lift that I'm looking to record. Now within those, I also want to know Lifetime estimated one rep racks, but also the most recent estimated one rep max. Within that, I also want to know the date achieved that lifetime and the most recent date achieved. The reason I'm doing this is just laying it out because once I know exactly what questions I'm asking, it's a lot easier to back work the process. So I may also want to know during this lifetime estimate, how did they achieve it? So what weight they lifted and how many reps they performed to get that. And I might want to know that for the most recent as well. The first thing we need to do is create a drop down menu um, to be able to select which athletes and what lifts we want to look at. So this is where our list sheet comes into view. Here, I'm simply going to put down all of the athlete names that I need and all of the exercises. So create a header, athlete name. For ease, I'm just going to have athlete one through to 15. And then I'm going to create a new list, exercises. Now, this is where you can decide how much you want to uh, track, what you want to track, how much you want to record, but we're also gonna make it very easy for you to add new exercises as well. So for now, I'm just gonna put deadlift, oh, bench press, and back squat. What we now have to do is to create named ranges or ranges from these, okay? Now I know that I might want to add up to 50 athletes and I'm gonna give you space to add up to 50 exercises. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select about 50. So let's just go to there, it's probably gonna be about 48. Okay, now under formulas, I'm going to go define name. All right, and in that, the enter the name for the data, I'm going to call this Athlete name with no space, and there's my selection. Click OK. I'm going to do the same for the exercises. I've gone up to 57. It doesn't really matter. I don't think I'm going to have more. And I'm going to put exercises. Real nice and simple. So now Excel recognizes them as sections of inf information that I can present somewhere else. So I'm going to jump back to my dashboard where I want the selection to be made. I know this is athlete name, so I want to select it here. So I'm going to go data. Under data validation, 
I want a list because I want to be able to select from a drop down of lists. And then I'm going to press equals. And then I'm going to type the name of that range that I've just created. That's why it's important there's no spaces. Press OK. And you'll see this is drop down has appeared. And now I have all of the athletes available. If I wanted to add an athlete to that, I simply go back to my lists. So I'm going to put some more athletes in. That's within the 50 range that we set. When I go back to dashboard, you can see I now have all of those athletes in. So we can do the same for our lifts. So I go data validation, list equals exercises. Okay, perfect. There we are. There we have the rest of our exercises. It will leave some blank spaces. If you haven't got too many in there, we'll leave blank spaces, but that's absolutely fine. Just know to scroll up to the top. So that's our first step. We've got our drop down menu for our athlete and our drop down menu for our deadlift.